Now that we know our remotes are working, let's put them to work. In Acquisition, click the Create Class link. Then, in the Create Class dialog box, I'm going to type HIT101 as my class name, although yours may be something like First Period Math, for example. Then, type in your instructor name and click OK. Now you'll see the class you just created in a list of what can soon be all your classes. Now simply click the class name to open and start the acquisition session. Now imagine asking your class a verbal question or a poll or any other type of question where you want your students to participate in. Then press the green button at the top to start collecting responses. Notice the timer running, giving the students an allotted time to answer the questions. You'll see each student's ID box with the last three digits of the remote's ID number appear as they respond to the questions. When all questions have been received, or you'd like to end the question, click the red button at the top, and a histogram of results will instantly appear, giving you real-time feedback to guide your lecture. Are they getting it, or does it look like they don't all quite understand it? With the looks of my graph, I think I'll have to go back over some of my material. If your question has a correct answer, you can enter it on your keyboard now. But to show the class the correct answer, click the red check mark at the top. This lets the program know the correct answer for this question, so grading is all done. FYI, you can assign any remote as your instructor's remote to enter correct answers from that remote. From the Options tab, click on General. Then make sure the Use Instructor Remote ID box is checked and enter in the correct instructor remote ID number. Also, check Enable Remote Control and click OK. You can also set the default to always show the correct answer on the histogram by going to Options, Histogram, and checking the Always Indicate Correct Answer box. Now, let's go ahead and test it out. Restart the question, collect some responses, and make sure to enter in the correct response using your instructor remote this time. Stop the question, and the correct answer will be indicated in green. You can repeat these steps for as many questions as you want. It doesn't matter if you have five or 500 students. You can get and great answers with just a few clicks. Acquisition allows you to deliver your questions your way. So let me show you some of your options. Under the Slides pull-down menu, Open Slides File allows you to open your question files in many different forms. Simply select your file type, browse to it, and open it. It's your content. But if your file type is an image file, we seamlessly accept any of these image files. Or you can select Browse to a website, type in your web address here, and it'll take you right to it. Selecting Show a Black Screen or selecting Show a White Screen is a great tool for, say, an AirSlate or any other similar device that lets you write your own questions on the fly in our program. Once your content is open, you have all these options to set it up for best viewing for your audience. Not only do we let you use your content directly integrated in our program, we let you deliver it to your class your way. Let me show you some more options. From the Modes pull-down menu, you can select to ask a single question. It can be either multiple choice or multi-digit. The next two testing modes are well suited for paper-based tests and allow students to work at their own pace. The Homework Collection mode lets students bring their remote home, type in all their answers, and send it all in at once when they get back to class. The next three modes, Student ID, Student Name, and Screen Name collections allow you to let the students send in their information and build the roster for you. And finally, the most versatile mode of all is our toolbar mode. It allows you to collect responses from any computer display program, including all file formats and even whiteboard applications. Used with this float on top feature, the program becomes a small, unobtrusive tool that you use for teaching, displaying, testing, polling. It's the one mode that you can do everything with. Simply two buttons, collect responses, show the histogram, and auto grade it too. Notice the question type text in the middle of the screen. This tells you and your students the question type, the allowed responses, here there are five, and the allowed response changes, which is the number of times you allow your students to change their answers. You can set this to any value you'd like. There's also the remote mode, which tells students which mode their remote should be in for this particular question type. You can select various questioning formats from the question types pull-down menu here. The default is multiple choice. Here, you can select true-false for true-false questions. 
Here, you can select yes, no, or abstain as the answer selections. Fill in the blank is used if your students have multi-digit remotes. This question type supports both alpha and numeric answers with up to 20 characters. Here, for multiple choice, you can select up to 10 allowed multiple choice responses. The default, as you can see, is selected as 5. If you'd rather use multiple choice numbers, like 1, 2, 3, instead of letters, like ABC, select this. The last option, Collect Confidence, allows the students to enter a confidence level along with their answer. You can later use this to weight their responses based on their confidence of their answer choice, as well as whether or not they got the question right. Now that we've learned the basics of acquisition, check out the next video on analyzing, reporting, and building a roster for your class. Thanks for watching.